a little extra club where children with special needs can come and feel safe, where they can come and enjoy themselves, be creative even, while their parents get on with their lives as well. Now, a place like this does need funds. For these people to really enjoy themselves, they need facilities. And fundraising is often at the heart of its day-to-day -day activities. We are a completely voluntary organisation. We've been very fortunate this year. We're one of the Mayor of Hounslow's three chosen Mayor's Charities. Variety is tremendously important for these young people and to be able to access things that they wouldn't normally access with their parents. And variety is tremendously important for these young people to build their life skills. Definitely needs money. Uh, it definitely needs better premises than the ones that are operating at the moment. But above all, it needs um, volunteers. Um, and those volunteers, um, they won't be paid any money, but my goodness, they'll get a lot out of it. If somebody's skilled at dance, or skilled at football, or skilled at tennis, give a couple of hours to come down and work in our sports hall with our young people in a totally safe environment. What it does for me is allows me to have some freedom. Um, that I probably otherwise wouldn't get. It also allows Charmaine to have the social type of life that would be very hard to find for her otherwise. She gets to see her friends in the holidays, she gets to do activities, uh, meet different people. You know, there's always new people joining the club and um, just basically have some fun. Money is a real problem for us all the time because our specialist staff have got to earn a living. Uh, they've all got to pay the mortgage, they've all got to live, and they don't get paid very much, but they're all extra willing to give a bit of extra time and all do far more than we pay them for. So you, so you, can, you can drop them off and you can go and have your day without worrying whether they're all right or, you know, are they safe or are they this, that. And the more regular you come, the more it feels like you're coming to your other family. Because everyone knows each other. It's the look on the faces of the kids that go there. They really get lit up and they really enjoy life. It really is the expression on their faces of, uh, you know. Because the young people always want to know that at the end of the school term, the security they've had during the six weeks of going to school all term will be continued by them going to somewhere where they feel safe and where they're wanted and where they're in kept occupied during the holidays. These children are special needs. Okay, they might not give back to the community as an able-bodied person does, but they give back love, they give back friendship, they give back such a lot of things that you wouldn't get from an able-bodied person. We're all too busy, you know? Um, they're worth spending the money on. Because what they give back isn't worth, you know, you can't put a price on it but they need that money so they can have a life as well.